Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your opera commentator, Milton J. Santini, coming to you directly from his private box at the Shannon Opera House, where tonight we are presenting George Bizet's Immortal Carmen. At the end of the overture, we shall hear the opening chorus, wherein the principal characters give their names, ranks, and serial numbers. <laughs> Since you got your own place, I don't see you anymore. I'm your mother. You could at least call me. I'm bored, 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 bored. Waking in that cigarette factory is so boring. What's the matter? Nobody calls you either? Oh, men. They're so boring. I mean, there's this soldier, and there's this bullfighter, and they keep following me around all the time. Tell me how wonderful I am. <laughs> I mean, it's so boring. <gasps> oh, Columba. Here they come now. <laughs> Right from the night I first saw you My heart has been yearning for you What else could any heart do? While Don Jose is singing of his devotion for Carmen, poor little Mickey, his childhood sweetheart, is eating her heart out, which is not particularly recommended by Gourmet Magazine, but is a typical operatic ploy. <laughs> Carmen, responding to the double serenade of Jose and Bowser Milio, finds herself on the horns of a dilemma. I don't see no dilemma. Quiet! Bulls should be seen and not heard. I don't see no hide either. Quiet! <laughs> Bowser Milio is in a fit of rage because the tenor got to sing 16 bars more than he did. 
He starts to choke him. But Ole Jose is saved by the bull. At this point in the opera, we see Carmen's true colors, purple and green with orange polka dots. She reveals herself as the heartless, selfish, cold-blooded, cruel, insensitive. Hey, you! Who, me? Yeah, you! Come on up here and say that! <laughs> well? You're the man I've been waiting for all my life! Because you got 